flexible ac transmission systems devices has been proposed and implemented in many power systems generally fax devices are classified into four categories those are shunt compensators so examples of shunt compensators are statcom and tcr so these types of devices comes under shunt compensators so these devices are connected in parallel to the transmission line that's why the name indicates the shunt compensators and next category is series compensators so examples of series compensators are dynamic voltage restorer and triple ac static synchronous series compensator so these devices are connected in series with the transmission line that's why the name indicates the series compensators and next type is series shunt compensators so here examples are upfc unified power flow controller or we can name it as upqc unified power quality controller so this device is connected in between two lines s series and shunt and the last category is series series compensator so example of this category is ipfc interline power flow controller so this ipfc is connected between two lines in series connection in which statcom static compensator plays an important role to improve the power quality that's why in our project we are taking the statcom device to improve the power quality here the term synchronous in statcom mean that it can either absorb or it can generate reactive power in synchronization with the demand to stabilize the voltage of power network this is the general diagram of statcom so here this is the transmission line and below figure is the static synchronous compensator so statcom consists of one separate dc source so this below is the dc source you can take any capacitor or battery so after dc source we need to connect to the one inverter then we can give it to the transmission line through transformer because this is the dc source right but our power systems have ac so to convert this dc into ac we need to take the inverter that's why i'm taking the inverter here and through transformer we can give it to the our transmission line so here here you have one doubt why we need to take the dc source here because we can't store the ac so whenever voltage of the power system is increase then this statcom absorb the reactive power means it stores the reactive power and whenever this transmission line voltage is decreasing at that time this statcom can generate the reactive power so it can inject the reactive power that's why one storage element must be needed that is the only reason behind why we are taking the dc source here okay that is the general operation of statcom so here in power systems we got the voltage fluctuations it is because of some faults or harmonics or whatever it may be so at some time it will decrease or it can also increase okay so at that point of time we need to inject the voltage so for that purpose we are using the fact devices so here this stat come must be inject the reactive power at this faulty time only not all the time only whenever voltage is decreased or whenever voltage is increased then that time only our statcom must be operated okay so how the statcom know that so whenever it will be on and how much voltage or how much reactive power it will be injected that's why we are taking the control systems here so here we need to take the one reference value and we need to take the one actual value and give it to the one controller like pi controller fuzzy or whatever it may be and we need to give output to the pulse width modulation to give the switches of our inverter so based on this value our inverter switches will be turn on and turn off here just for understanding purpose i am taking our transmission system voltage as 240 just for understanding purpose okay but during some faulty condition you are getting the only 40 volts here at the system so what is the error 200 is the error okay so now this pa control will told this pulse width modulation you are getting the error that is 200 volts so please inject the reactive power so this pulse width modulation turn on the inverter switches then this dc voltage goes to the transmission line and in unfaulty condition if you are getting the 240 volts actual and you are taking 240 volts as reference then error will be zero right so here no need to connect the inverter so here statcom is do not operate that is the use of control system okay and here i told you we are using the pa controller okay proportional integral controller you can use any controller but here in our project i am using the hybrid controller okay hybrid damping controller damping is nothing but the reduction of harmonics nothing but the transient state of your system okay whenever you are not getting the exact voltage as per your requirement then that time your system will be in transient state right for reduction of that we are using the hybrid controller that's why i am named as hybrid damping controller so here the word hybrid means two or many right so here i am using the pi plus fuzzy logic controller 
so to eliminate the pa drawbacks i am using the fuzzy also here so i am using this both combination to get the hybrid damping controller to implement the pa controller we just need to find out the proportional and integral gain but here in fuzzy logic to implement the fuzzy logic we need to write the rules there is no mathematical process we just need to write the rules to get the desired output okay so this is the main concept to improve the power quality of our system now you can see the title then you will get the exact idea So this is our title hybrid damping controller for statcom to enhance the power quality in multi machine system i told you we are taking the hybrid damping controller nothing but the combination of pa and fuzzy so for what for our statcom to enhance the power quality to increase the power quality to reduce the oscillations to reduce the harmonics or whatever it may be okay so we are implementing this statcom device in where multi mission system okay we need to take the one bus system that is in the multi mission system let's see that bus system now so here i am taking the iitb 9 bus system so this is the 9 bus system and it has three synchronous generators this is generator 1 and this is generator 2 and this is generator 3 that's why in the title i named it as a multi mission system now you will get the clarity about title so here in the system we are using the three generators okay and this is the nine bus system right so i already given the numbers here for each bus so bus one bus two third bus like that we are having the nine buses here at bus nine i am taking the our stat come so this is the our stat come i am taking at ninth bus okay and here to test the stat come we need to give one fault to our system okay you can take any fault like line to line line to ground whatever it may be but our stat come must be eliminate that fault that is the main aim okay and here in our bus system i am taking three loads here so load a load b load c okay now open your matlab and see our project simulation this is our simulation model here i told you i am taking the three generators so below this is the generator one and left side this is the generator two and right side this is the generator three and i already told you we are taking the nine bus systems right so this black color indicate the bus bus one bus two like that we are having the nine buses and here we are taking the transmission line right so we have so many types of transmission lines like pi section t section like that so here i am taking the pi section transmission line so that's why i am taking the three phase pi section line you can see this blue color indicates the pi section transmission line and here at bus 9 we are taking the statcom so this is our statcom you can double click it you can able to see the statcom here this is the dc source we are taking the capacitors and give it to the power inverter and here we are taking the three loads right load 1 load 2 and this is the load 3 and here i am injecting the three phase fault okay triple lg fault i am injecting here to see the statcom response and this is the first diagram i am just uh, seeing with the only pa controller here you can see the statcom here i am using the just proportional gain and integral gain only means it without having the fuzzy logic it is only with the pa controller so then after that we can go with the hybrid damping controller okay just see the response here just run the circuit then you will got the waveforms here okay now just run the circuit now it's ready so here i'm taking the scopes for voltage and active power so here this vabc1 iabc1 indicates the synchronous generator one okay for generator one first two are the scopes for generator two these two are the scopes okay so now just open the scopes one by one now i am opening voltage at generator one so here you can able to see so first it is in the steady state but suddenly at one second i am applying the triple lg fault so suddenly it is going to transient and it will take lot of time to steady state okay you can see here you can see here at one second i am giving the fault so like that see the active power also so this is the active power same up to one second it is in steady state then after applying fault it is going to transient so see same like generator 2 this is the second generator voltage like that go for the third generator so this is the pa controller right now open the model for hybrid pa fuzzy this is the model for hybrid fuzzy system same like pa but the only change is at stat come we are taking the both pa and fuzzy controllers okay so here in pa control we are taking only proportional and integral but here we are taking the proportional gain and integral gain as well along with the fuzzy this is the fuzzy logic circuit okay so we are taking the both now run this circuit and compare the results 
so unlike pi if you want to run fuzzy logic you need to follow the steps so go to command window and type fuzzy and click on enter then you will get the like this and here in fuzzy logic we basically having the two methods one is mamdani and second one is sugano most of the projects are using mamdani for easy and efficient that's why i'm using the mamdani here now go to file and import your file this is the fis this is the fuzzy file and click on open now export this file to the workspace that's it now you can able to see the rules also so here i'm taking the 5 into 5 rules that's why i'm getting the 25 rules here okay so this is the fuzzy system i'm taking just minimize it and go to your fuzzy model now run your hybrid fuzzy so this is the process if you have the fuzzy in your model then just follow this step then only it will be run now it's ready let's see the waveforms so first open the voltage generator one so here you can clearly see first of all it is in steady state at one second we are giving the fault and it is going to steady state rapidly okay fastly when compared to pi so like that see the active power also so this is the active power waveform you can see it is also steady state so just see the pi system active power this is the pi system active power so it is never settled down so this is for fuzzy and this is for pi when compared to pi fuzzy is stabilizing the system very fastly that is the main reason why we are using the hybrid damping controller for understanding purpose i clearly show the graph here here this blue dotted line indicates the without controller without hybrid controller and this red color indicates the hybrid damping controller you can clearly observe at one second we are giving the fault so when compared to this blue line this red line is giving rapid response and stabilize the system very fastly okay you can see at this time only it is going to steady state but here in dotted blue lines you can see it is never settled down and it is taking very long time to stable the system that is the main reason why we are using the hybrid damping controller okay that's it that is the main idea of this project if you like this project i will give i triple e base paper in description you can check it if you like it contact me i will explain each and every block through google meet and i will give complete assistance up to your submission